Jackson, Vinicius, Lundgren, and Saramon, Jack Benny. Third right out of the wall. Hello again. I'm Jackie, the Gazette Wilson. That was, uh, that was Don Wilson, folks, the fellow that tires you. Get it? It's a story for you, story for you tonight. You want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. It's really good. I mean, it's great. But stop me if you've heard it. All right. Uh, this is a piece. I saved this for tonight. Uh, a, uh, a woman got on a Fifth Avenue bus. Stop. Oh, you heard that, eh? Heard it. I was with the woman. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll try enough. A man was walking through the woods when out of a tree came a skunk. So the man stopped. <laughs> Oh, you were with the skunk, too, isn't it? <laughs> no, Jack, but I've heard all those stories so often. All right, then I'll try another one. You can't discourage me. You know. Now, here's a true story. There were two Scotsmen and a radio announcer sitting in a cafe. Neither of the Scotsmen would buy a drink, so it was a dull evening. <laughs> well? Well, that's the finish of the story. I don't quite get it. You say that there were two Scotsmen... And a radio announcer... ...sitting in a cafe, and neither of the Scotsmen would buy a drink. Yes, yes, so it was a dull evening. Oh, I'm just beginning to get it. Take your time, Don. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> hey, listen, wait. Hey, wait a minute. What, what are you laughing at? Scotsmen are funny. They sure are, yeah. They're... By the way, I've got a story for you. If you stop me, don't hear it. You mean if you heard it, stop me? Is it... Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah. Go ahead with the story. Huh? An Airedale, a master of ceremonies, and two other dogs were out walking. All right, well, then, all right. I guess, I guess we're about even. Uh, pardon me, gentlemen. Oh, hello, Betsy. I just overheard you boys exchanging yarns. Uh-huh. Uh, do you mind if I relate an anecdote? What did he say, Wilson? Oh, he said he'd like to tell a story. Okay, Bester, but I wish we had an interpreter here. What, what's the what's the story? Uh, retard me if you've heard it. <laughs> retard you? I'll make it tacit. Don't worry. You know? <laughs> well, there was a touring merchandise uh, salesman, uh -huh. a man who plows the earth, mm -hmm. and his female offspring. You mean a traveling salesman, a farmer, and his daughter? Well, yes, if you want to be crude. Oh. <laughs> Brazilian fruit to you. <laughs> a traveling merchandise salesman. What the... <laughs> What's the matter, Jack? Having trouble again? Yes, Mary, it's Don Bessie. He insists upon speaking English on this program, and I won't have it. You ever hear such big words? Well, I know big words, too. What? Uh, here's one. Antiquarianism. Antiquarianism? What does it mean? I don't know, but look at the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mary, do you know any anecdotes like any Bessie? what? An anecdote. Yes. We have an anecdote at our house. And, and he has, has no nose. nose. I know. I know that one. Huh? Lay off my lines, you little thief. Boy, what a program this is. Huh? Well, I don't like stories anyway. I like jokes. Want to hear one that came out of my own head? No. All right. Uh, why is Mae West like an ocean dinner? I don't know. Why is Mae West like an ocean dinner? Uh, they both come up and see you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that good? That's awfully good, yeah. I got millions out of them. I'll pick up that. Yeah, well, keep the others. Keep the others there. Wilson, that's your cue. Hurry up. Hey, uh, what? Do, do you call those jokes? Mm. Uh, listen to this one. What's the difference between the general tire and other tires? I don't know. What's the difference? Mary, don't ask them that. Don't ask them that. It's too late now, Jack. The general tire has the safety tread, is noiseless and blowout proof. Yes, yes. While the general tire is blowout proof, noiseless.